Hi everyone, so it's time for April favourites and I have a real mix this month. I have some makeup products, a brush, a magazine, a clothing piece and also a shampoo that is just absolutely top notch. And you know what? I'm going to get started with the shampoo. Now I use shampoos from both ends of the budget spectrum and this is definitely high, high, high end. I really like also clarifying shampoos. I find that my hair is quite greasy on the top but kind of semi dryish, just normalish on the bottoms. So for me clarifying shampoos I really find that it helps get rid of any product build up and just leaves my hair feeling like super super clean on top and means that I only have to wash it kind of every two or three days instead of it looking greasy basically every other day. Now you guys know that I love my Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo still love that completely in love but I've tried this recently and I think I might like it even more it's from Obey and it's called the cleanse clarifying shampoo now this is the most weirdest crazy shampoo that I have ever used you open it up and you pump it out oh my god this is so messy you pump it out and it's a thick black foam almost I think it's got charcoal in it and you sort of move it together in your hands put it over your hair and it's like it automatically has foamed up there's not so much like lathering or working it in it just as it comes into contact with water like foams up automatically and so it is so quick to use and I have a feeling that I read about this online and it is color safe and also safe to use if you've got keratin treatment or something like that going on in your hair so a good one if you like clarifying shampoos but don't want it to like strip your color or anything like that it's like a very gentle yet effective clarifying shampoo. Now I wouldn't use this every single time I wash my hair because I mean that's a very expensive habit to have but just kind of once every two weeks, once a month maybe even if you don't use a lot of other product in your hair. Right now onto the good stuff and if you are a regular reader of my blog then this will come as no surprise to you but it is the MAC strobe cream. I am obsessed with this stuff. I mean it is hardcore stuff and I can already see that I've used up to there in the tube and I'm very late on the bandwagon with this. This is not a new product, this has been out for ages and ages and I'm not quite sure exactly why I picked it up when I was in MAC probably about a month or two ago now but I just did and it was in a cute little travel size so I thought oh, that sounds kind of cute but this is a great great cream highlighter and it's a cream highlighter that has quite an iridescent like silvery pinky kind of look to it almost. I find it best worked in with a foundation so I tend to do one pump of foundation on the top of the brush and then a little bit of this and then kind of blend it together on my face and it just leaves everything looking so glowy and really like natural and very dewy on the skin but you can also just pat it onto the high points of your skin and I've done that as well just patted it on the cheekbones that looks really pretty but a gorgeous, gorgeous product. If you like things to look very highlighted and dewy, then you need this in your life. Speaking of foundation brushes, this one from Clinique, this is their buffing brush. This is absolutely amazing. Me and Lily were talking about it the other day, and she was like, have you tried that Clinique brush? I was like, yes, it is incredible. It's a bit of a difficult one to describe because it is quite dense, but then it also feels quite fluffy at the same time, but it's just so, so soft. It's almost a bit of a duo fiber one in that it's got kind of a slightly smaller bristle at the bottom and then longer bristles at the top but I find this to work really well with more kind of light coverage so if you've got something more like the Chanel Vitalimia Aqua or just a tinted moisturizer this blends it in so quickly it's almost like using your fingers when you can't be bothered to have to like wash your hands after and like get messy and all that kind of stuff it's like the finger foundation brush Although that doesn't sound as nice as buffing brush. Now this month I finally got rid of my Urban Decay Naked Concealer because it was smelling a bit funny. I've had it for almost a year and I was really like scraping around the bottom of it. And I just found that it was getting a bit dry and a bit grim. So I asked you guys for your concealer recommendations and I'm still sifting through all the comments now. There were so many comments on that post. So I just went back to an old favourite for now. And it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer in Extra Light. Now this is an interesting one because it's a creamy product. I always think that creams don't really work as well like longevity wise that they're going to be a bit kind of movable and like slip all over the face because this is an Estee Lauder double wear product and they are like known to kind of stay properly where they are told I actually find this to stay in place really nicely I guess it is called the stay in place <laughs> concealer but I really like that it's got a decent whack of coverage to it so it works really nicely under the eyes and I just tend to pop a bit around my nose I blend it in with my fingers that is what works best and I really really like this I mean you can see that I've hit pan 
tan and this has lasted me a really long time. So a good concealer recommendation if you've got quite dry skin and you're looking for something creamy but again thank you so much for all of your comments going to work through them and pick up something new eventually promise. The face and eye products I've kind of kept things the same I'm having a real mascara moment but I'm being such a floozy that there's not one single one that I would mention in a favourites video there's just loads I'm absolutely loving right now but I have been experimenting with my lips a bit and I'm really enjoying the Jouer liquid lipsticks this is the one in lychee this is my absolute favourite I mentioned it in my first impressions video and sort of showed it on I'm still really enjoying it yes of course it is going to be drying after you've had it on your lips for like eight hours kind of thing they're not a moisturising matte liquid lipstick that just hasn't really kind of evolved yet but the color of it is great and because it is so natural and quite close to my natural lips anyway when it wears off I don't feel really self-conscious about it I've got on one today and I think it's called Charisse and I have to say I'm not as impressed with it I found it really quite difficult to apply I didn't use a lip liner so I've got kind of a bit of wonky lips going on so I really enjoy the more nude shades out of this line but definitely a recommendation if like me you really want to get your hands on the Kylie Jenner lip kits but haven't been able to because they're just impossible to get hold of. Jouer have some really nice like matte neutral colours as well. And then the other colour that I've been into is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is her matte revolution lipstick in Very Victoria. I've done a post on this and mentioned it a ton on the blog so this is no surprise but this is such a great, this is like my new nude, I've kind of gone off MAC patisserie a little bit and finding it a little bit pinky and to me this is like a little bit more brown, a little bit more tawny but on my lips it doesn't look too brown. It's a very interesting one because on some people it looks really brown, on others it looks a bit more pink so it's definitely one to try dry on counter but I like it because it's matte and it's nude I just throw it on without even a mirror because I use it a bit more like lip balm but it's matte but also very creamy so you're not going to get like lines in your lips or look really dehydrated or anything like that it's just a really good kind of everyday want to put something on my lips but not really sure what to grab I've been grabbing this now on to my more random health clothing magazine favorites of the month and the first thing is this this is the Kiki Health Magnesium Oil Spray I have used this a ton in videos you guys know that I use this kind of on my limbs and just all over my body before I go to bed because I find that it just relaxes me I find it so relaxing do you ever have those days where you've done like a lot of walking or something and you get into bed and your legs still feel like they're walking and you kind of can't really relax them if you ever have that I just pop this on my limbs and I'm like oh relaxes them down it almost has a bit of a tingle to it which is quite strange and it's slightly warming but on aches and pains and anything like that I find that it to work really really well magazine wise I've really been into self I picked this up at the Victoria station WH Smith that has a very intense magazine selection you can always find like any and every magazine is in that shop in stock which is awesome but this is great it's very similar to women's health and it's got a bit of everything in it. it's obviously more kind of fitness and health and food based but there's, there's a bit of fashion in there there's a bit of beauty a bit of relationship all that kind of stuff I just find this to be a really good read so I like this Allure women's health always got those going on on the bedside table and then clothing wise I feel like it will come as no surprise to you that my favorite piece of clothing is oh oh let me put it on my Reese jacket I am just absolutely in love with this I basically haven't taken it off for the month of April it was really handy at Coachella as well but I've just been wearing it all the time around here even when it's been pretty chilly I just freeze my lashes off in this but I am absolutely obsessed with it if you want to see what else I've added to my spring capsule wardrobe I will link the video down below but there will be a finished capsule wardrobe for spring coming very soon but thank you so much for watching I hope you've had a good April my April was pretty banging. I had a really good one, but I hope you did too. And I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.